must be the Marquis of Athlum. Everyone else has already arrived. Allow me to lead you to the assembly hall. My presence is required at the Congress. Please stay with him. So we'll quickly run through the sacred lands. On this particular visit there is no combat at all. I think I've mentioned this before in uh, another playthrough that when I first played this game, the very, very first time, I ran up to all these symbols like this, thinking that there might be a hidden area somewhere <laughs> with some items in. And there wasn't, and there isn't, so don't bother if you're doing it yourself. But I don't know, can you, I mean, just look how many that are. I spent quite a few minutes, that must have been 10-15 minutes just running around thinking there's got to be a hidden room somewhere, got to be. Yeah, like an idiot. But there you go. You have to do this when you first start playing games, you've got to explore everywhere, because you never know what you might miss otherwise. Just a reminder, I did say I, I would not be leaving in the cutscenes. So, what are we doing now? Well, let's tell you what we're doing now. First of all, before I forget, we're just going to nip into the pub to pick up a side quest which we will be doing very shortly. I have to speak to this gloomy man here. Don't talk to this young lady here if you wish. You don't have to.
we won't be exploring these completely we're just going to nip in get a couple of components and come straight back out again so if this is your first time playing the game you will need to come in here to get two shadow metal because that is a guild task And it also unlocks uh, different units in Athlum, some of which we want. And it's this big point here, we want the shadow metal. Come on out! Uh -huh. hmm? All right! Awesome! And there we go, shadow metal. Okay, later. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm? You can also get steel ore, which some of your companions will need. As you can see, we've got 24 shadow metal, but I just wanted to do it as if it was the first time through. So there we go, don't need to do that anymore. So now we're going to exit and we're going to go back to Athlon. And we are going to hire a couple of unions. Units, rather, not unions. <laughs> That'd be a nice thing, but units. Thank you very much. You will get that from David every time you leave an area which you haven't actually completed. We just ignore them. Because we are going to Athlon first. Go, we've got. There's the two pieces of shadow metal. These were done on my last playthrough. So, but I'm going to take advantage of them now. And the units we're after is. I'm going to hire Loki and Nora, even though I'm not going to use them. And the reason for that is they have a side quest all to themselves. But this is when we're looking for. We are looking for Panet because poison gas. And now we are going to go to the town square because we want to oh yes we'll talk to you in a minute we need to hire a couple of units from here so let's have a look we want neil neil is him here simply because he has visitation herb and we want someone who can revive our party members we also want chamberlain him for the same reason
And we also want Hendrickson because he has a warrior's broadsword, which I believe is a guild task. And there we go. So that's that sorted out. And we are now going to talk to this major like girl here who will want money off us. And we meet her repeatedly throughout the story and every time she wants money and we get items from her and she does become pretty expensive to be honest but if you complete the mage like girl quest you can actually hire her and she's an excellent addition to the team so we'll have to sell a filet and the reason we're going here is because we want to see the mage like girl best to keep up with this quest otherwise you might miss some of them and now she wants a thousand we'll get some of those Hasta la bye bye. And we know where she's gone, so that's not a problem. So now, what we're going to do, we unlocked the southwestern road, and that is where uh, we are going to go now. And because we want to pick up Bandana of Remembrance, which is an item we need for the quest we get later on, we want some Mystic Fiend Fangs, which is a guild task, we want some iron ore, which is for the death mask, and we want some vase fragments, which is a guild task, which, if you, looking back when we went into the guild before, we already turned them in. And that's it, but I shall show you where everything is. There we go, the southwestern road. Now, Mystic Fiend Fang. You would think you'd get that by defeating an enemy. You do not. You actually get it from one of these trees. Mixes a bit. I've always found a little bit uh, funny. I won't bother with that, we don't want you. What we do want though is this here, the bandana of remembrance. There we go. And the mystic bean fangs are up here. If we can get up here without getting attacked. From this tree here. Come on out! Uh -huh. And with a bit of luck we'll get four of them. Okay, later. And what I should have done, I should have saved first, but there you go. All right! Awesome! But we have a lot of deep, so we should we should get most of them first time. Famous last words. Hmm? They are difficult to get hold of. Hmm? On your first playthrough, you will have to... Oh, I nice. generally have to come back awesome. two or three times to get them. But I am hoping with 21 digs, or sorry, 22 digs, they'll actually get what we need. Without me having to do that. But it's been... silly. Remember, it's all about the RNG. You can come here and get them all mm -hmm. at your very first attempt. And it's whether or not the RNG right. loves you or not. Awesome! Oh my God, I don't know. Come on, give us at least one. Mm -hmm. All right! Awesome! And this is why I generally say, mm -hmm. before I start the digging, 
so that if you don't get it, awesome. you just reload and start again. They're going to come in and out multiple times. Hmm? I don't believe that. Hmm? Alright! Awesome! 22 digs and didn't give us even one. Talk about the RNG taking the peak. But never mind, never mind. All down to the RNG. So out we go. And we'll come back in. See if we get him this time. Oh, we've got 23 digs, not 22. Come on out! That makes it even worse. Okay, later. 23 days and think it was even one. Hmm? Alright! Awesome! Hmm? Alright! Awesome! Oh, come on. Don't take the mess. Hmm? All right! Awesome! Hmm? There we go, Mystic Fiend Fang. And I've got 27 of them, but I just wanted to show you that this is where you actually get them from. Wow! Avoid these because I don't really want to fight. Thank you. So now we are going for that treasure chest here. Come on out! And from this big point, mm -hmm. we want um, iron ore right. and valve fragments. There's your iron ore. We wanted uh, three pieces for that. Okay, later. Don't worry if you don't get the vase fragment. Mm -hmm. Because there is another area All right. where you awesome. can pick them up literally off the floor every time you go in. So it doesn't really matter. I'll just try and see if it will give me them here. Just so you can see that you can actually get them from here. Or is it going to be like the last one where it's going to make mm -hmm. me out? to be a liar. But you can get them here. Hmm? All right. Awesome. And there's your vows fragments. You want two of them, it is a guild task. But I was just showing you that, that is, you can get them from there. And thank you very much. We are now off. Get this, this, this here. Now there is a rare which can spawn here. There can be a rare which can spawn over there as well. But if you come here on your first attempt, thank you. We don't need the map, but thank you very much. If this is your first playthrough when you come here and there's a rare up there called Bloody Tears, Red Tears, sorry, Red Tears, I suggest you try and beat it. Because I don't want to give a spoiler alert, but 
Let's just say, if you see it, try and beat it when you see it. Because it'll be a lot more difficult later on. We'll pick this up while we're here. Come on out! Okay, later. This unlocks Balterosa, which is where we have to go to complete the, um, that lost letter quest or whatever it is. Secret letter quest, rather, should I say. And this allows Rush, if you haven't, this is a new game plus, obviously, but this allows Rush to use remedies. The uh, restore, etc., etc. And this man here, the cheerful man. <laughs> I have never said <laughs> maybe a little. I don't know what happens if you do that, but I've never said that, so I don't know what happens. One of these times, I think I might do, just to see what happens. There you go, I can use remedies. Now, normally, you don't have enough money at this stage to hire cavemen. You normally have to wait until you've done a bit of farming for gold. But we've got the money, so I'm going to hire him now, ahead of schedule. And we've got the Warrior's Broadsword, that's from Hendrickson, the unit we hired in Athlone. Saves you money, having to do it yourself. And Amos, the Spark, if you're looking for one, and here's Cademan. It's quite expensive. But we, as you can see, we've got loads of money. And he's good, look. And he's an excellent choice. There we go, talk to that. Balterosa Castle. And while we're here, by the Balterosa. No, I don't want to equip it, thank you very much. That, David will ask for that, and in a normal playthrough, when you're not using Mystic Seal, this allows him to use his gay bow repeatedly, because it gives him back his AP. But the gay bow really isn't worth having, because it does so little damage. And we'll just top up our... What's this one? Oh, we're not using any of them. All of them. No, we're not them. So there we go. So, what we are going to do next, in the next episode, because I'm trying to keep the video short, I'm sorry there's been no fighting, it's just been talking and exploring, uh, but there will be some tough fights coming up very shortly, believe you me, especially with us being in Mystic Seal. But that will be for the next episode and probably the one after that as well. So, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've found it informative and helpful, 
then please hit that like button. It really does help out this small channel. If you have any comments about the game, good, bad or indifferent, please leave them. I appreciate all of them. If you have any questions about the game, leave them in the comment section as well and I will answer them for you. And even consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that notification bell. That way you won't miss a single episode of this game or any other game I post. And I am playing quite a few at the moment. I will admit I'm playing about four games at the minute, which I am going to be posting as well. So I hope I will see you in the next episode. Until then, thank you very much for watching. It really is appreciated.